All right, everybody, I'm trying to make sure the camera is positioned in a way to where it's not going to, you know, be in the way to where uh, I can just like kind of hold it in front like this and try and open it like this. So we're going to see how this works. But if you're curious, there's the stack of cards that we're going to be opening today. And thank you. That's right. You haven't been here at the beginning of a stream yet. Anyway, I'm going to play the music again. There we go. So I just want to make sure that uh, my music is going to be above, because the, the music's just supposed to be there faintly. So I'm going to lower the desktop audio. You're just, it's going to be there in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the way. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started. So again, there are 15 of these. Well, let me actually show you what all is on these packs. Like you already saw the first one. It was uh, Zamazenta. He's on the, this first pack here. The next, there's ones that have uh, Zacian on them. Come on, webcam. Hello. Yeah, can you focus, please? Thank you. <laughs> and then this one has um, Gigantamax Snorlax. 
And then this one is uh, Gigantamax Lapras. So, those are the uh, four. Yeah, I guess you could call this a Pokey card unboxing. So, uh, we'll start with uh, the one that has Zamazenta on it. So there was always there was another video I watched that had um, a particular method of uh, of um, doing these cards when he was to open them, not open them, but uh, to uh, like position them basically. So this is actually it's actually going to be the back of the cards here. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I've got a bag down here for my garbage. Okay, so this type of card here. Um, it's one of those things that you, uh, go online and you put in the code that's like on the back here. I never bother with them. So if somebody wants to like jump in and throw this code on that website, you're more than welcome to do it. I never do it. It's just so that whatever cards you get in here are going to, there's going to be like a digital version of that that you can use online. So... So the way they've always, this guy's always done, he's taken the first top three cards and sh uh, moved them to the front. And this card will, the fourth one will always be an energy card. So as you can see, we've got uh, the fighting energy, which is typically used for um, like fighting rock and ground types when it comes to the Pokemon trading card game. So it's always one, two, three, and the fourth one is an energy, which we don't care about. So then uh, we flip it over because this is now going to be the rare card in the pack. And this next one here is going to be the uh, the uh, reverse hollow card that every deck has. So we're going to go ahead and flip it over. So uh, we've got ourselves, the first card here is uh, Raboot. Which uh, I actually do already have. So, um, so this makes it my second Raboot. So uh, there's going to be a particular pile. I'll probably set it off, um, off to the side if it's... Uh, if it's uh, some kind of cards that I already have. But yeah, so this first one was Raboot. Uh, and this next one is Rare Candy. Which uh, is a trainer card that I already have as well. Whoop. Bumped the camera. <laughs> so this next one is a Lumberry. I actually do not have this one. I only have... Uh, I have the Citrus Berry, but uh, you can't see. What, are you trying to actually read the description, like, on the card or something? Is that what you're trying to read? You have to kind of understand. Raspberry. Yeah, it's totally a raspberry. So, Lumberry. Whoops! I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> okay. Get back up here. I knew that was going to happen. I was going to bump it with my big old arm. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, we've got Krabby, which, again, I already have. I'm just going to set it down in front of me. Minchino, um, I don't remember if I have a Minchino card already. Like, out of any of the packs I've opened before. So this could be the first Minchino card. I'll set it down here. And uh, we've got ourselves a Galarian Ponyta, which I already have. Uh, Cottony, which, again, I already have. Score Bunny, very cute card, but I already have one. I actually have two different Score Bunny cards, but it's a very cute card. Ponytail sucks. So, this is actually very cool because, you, as you could see, it is a reverse hollow Drampa, which uh, maybe if you could see it there in the bottom, if it will focus. Okay, I'm trying to let it focus. Come on, webcam. It doesn't want to focus. Focus, you stupid... I hate webcams, by the way. It takes forever to freaking focus. It doesn't want to focus, of course. It's probably because it's hollow. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so as you can see, it has a star there, which means it's a, it's a rare card. So, um... But yeah, so this is Drampa, and it's a reverse hollow Drampa card, which is nice because I don't even have a Drampa. Let me wait, pause it. I held it there for a while. Move to the right more. Well, no, I was only showing the card. 
So, I mean, you could see plenty of this. But anyway, so that was a, a pretty good card. So next we'll see... Ooh, I just kind of, as you can see, I caught a, like a glimpse there. And this is at whatever this card is, it is a hollow. So we're going to move on. What do you mean go down? What are you trying to look at? Well, yeah, reverse hollow cards are in every um, pack. Hollow is whenever it has like a nice, um, like shiny gloss to it. As you can see, this one does compared to the rest. Like if I just did this card, there's like, it's just a typical like reflection. But this has a much more prominent reflection. This is a reverse hollow. And our holographic, this you could see the rainbow colors in there. This is a holographic Inteleon, which is actually very nice. I already have an Inteleon, but this one's actually holographic, so it's a lot better, which is really nice. So I'm going to put my two holographic cards off to the side because, uh, yeah. So, and I'll probably move this one off to the side because I don't, I don't think I have this card and I'll move the Lumberry over there too. But, uh, all of these cards here, I already have. So I'm just going to probably plop them on my bed somewhere. All right. So next up, we're going to open the, uh, Zacian one. So, with that, wait, did this thing just glitch out? Why is this saying there's 70 people viewing? <laughs> or, or am I just, or is, I'm thinking this glitched out. Because there, there's no way there's 70 people viewing this. Holy crap. How is there 70 people viewing this? Is there really that many people viewing? Be or am I just going crazy? <laughs> people really love Pokemon card unpacking. So, um, so let's go ahead and open this one. See what we've got. Okay, I'm not going to show the front card. I'm going to go ahead and toss this into my little bag of garbage. So uh, here's this card again. If anybody wants to use it, you're more than welcome to uh, use this code. I never bother with them, so go ahead. <laughs> and uh, I'll just toss that over there. So again, one, two, three to the front. And now we've got a water energy, which I don't care. Anyway, moving around. So we've got Hitmonlee, which uh, this is going to be another duplicate for me. Whoops. Stay in, the, stay in the back there. It's not your time to shine yet. So, Hitmonlee. This one uh, I don't care about. I've already got it. Salazzle. If, the, if it will uh, focus here. Sometimes it'll focus and sometimes it won't. I hate this webcam sometimes. I need to like actually get a camera. Come on. Focus. It's not that hard. How is this thing still not focusing? Like, okay, there we go. Jeez. So, Salazzle, as you can see. So, that one's going away. So, next we have a Metal Saucer, um, which is a uh, trainer card, which I don't actually have this one. So, this will be a new addition into uh, my pack. So, I'm going to set these over here with the rest of them. So, Blitbug. Nice. I could not believe I've got the other two, Dotler and... Uh, and uh, what was the other one? The full evolution. That looks like a, an alien. Um, but uh, I'm actually surprised because uh, I did not have this blip bug yet. So now I've actually got a complete set. Oh, God. What was the uh, the final evolution's name again? It's like I'm spacing on it right now. But anyway, so blip bug is new. So I'm going to keep that. Uh, Rhyhorn. Um, I've already got Rhyhorn. So, uh, this is not particularly a new card. Uh, there's another Mancino. Uh, Chin Chow, which I already have. Krogunk. I think I already have this Krogunk. Yeah, I thought this Krogunk was weird because it's, uh... If, uh, I'll move it down a little bit. 
as you, I thought this card was weird because it's uh, it says dark type, which is weird because it's poison and fighting. It is not dark type. So I wonder why this card is actually dark. Something good is going to happen. <laughs> Please show. Okay, I will after this. So um, another I've already had a potion card before, but this one's a reverse hollow potion, which is actually pretty interesting. So uh, reverse hollow potion. This is uh, going to go over here. And uh, Mudsdale. Mudsdale is the rare one. I didn't have Mudsdale before, so I've got uh, a Mudsdale now, which is pretty cool. This is the, my first Mudsdale, which is another rare card. So I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to put this with the rest of the... Uh, um, whoops. With the rest of the hollows. And I'll, you wanted to see the uh, description on Inteleon. If it will, uh, there it goes. When you play this Pokemon card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two trainer cards. Reveal them and put them in your hand. Then shuffle your deck. And then uh, Aqua Bullet says this attack also does 20 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for benched Pokemon. Whoa, this bottom right? It has many hidden capabilities, such as fingertips, that you can, or that can shoot water and a membrane on its back that it can use to guide glide through the air. Well, actually, that was bottom right. What do you mean? I was just reading it out to you. I mean, I can only hold my hand so steady. Yeah, this Intellion card's actually really cool. I love the way it looks. Anyway, let's move on to the next pack. So these are more... Uh, whoops, bumped the camera. These are just more uh, duplicates. So I will put them where the rest of them go. Out of the way. Moving on, we've got uh, another pack here, which is the... Uh, it's got uh, Gigantamax uh, Snorlax on there. See, that's why I was thinking it was a glitch, because now all of a sudden, all 60 or 70 of those people are gone. <laughs> okay, sometimes they're in there backwards, and sometimes they're not, so let's uh, get these out of here. Goes in the garbage. And again, for anybody who wants uh, this particular code, by all means, have at the... Putting that off to the side. And again, one, two, three. And then steel energy. Cool. Alright, now we flip it over. So when you move those three to the front, those three are actually the uncommon, which are the tri. That's actually pretty inter interesting. I don't have this trainer card, so there's a new card for me. Welcome back, Orange. All right, so Goldeen. I do not have this Goldeen yet. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Roselia. I don't have this Roselia yet, which is nice. Uh, Joltik. I already have this particular Joltik, so I'm not too concerned with it. So I'm going to put this down. Silicobra. I do not have a Silicobra yet. This is actually a pretty nice looking card. I'll have to go ahead and keep this one too. I have not pulled a Litwick yet, no. Or have I? I think maybe I did the last time I opened these. So there's uh, Silicobra, which I'm keeping. We got ourselves another Blip Bug, which we don't need. And we got yet another Pokey Kid, but this one's the Reverse Hollow, which is actually pretty cool. So uh, I will end up putting this in place when I put that in there. And the last one, Ore Beetle. So this is actually my second Ore Beetle. I've already had one before. So, um, and it's not a hollow or anything. It's just a regular ore beetle. This is the one I was trying to remember, but I, because I got the blip bug, I now have the full set for this one. The thing at the bottom, it says it emits psychic energy to observe and study what's around it and what's around it can include things over six miles away. That's actually pretty interesting. So this is another duplicate, which, uh, whoops, I put it in the wrong pile. So these were the duplicates. Uh, I had less duplicates this time, which is nice. 
And next, we have the uh, Gigantamax Lapras. Those, so those are the four types um, that are on these packs. Oh, this one opened it a lot easier. So uh, flip it around because I know I saw the front of a card. All I know is it was blue, so I knew it was water or ice type. And we've got another one. And uh, here you go for anybody who wants to uh, put this on the uh, the website. If it there it goes, I swear this thing has an issue with. Uh, yeah, so there you go. For those who want to use that. One, two, three. And the funny thing is, um, I haven't seen a Snom yet, but I do have a um, a Frost Moth. So that's actually pretty cool. So we've got a Dark Energy card, which actually uh, looks pretty cool. So let's see what we've got in this pack. We've got Quillfish. I honestly don't even know if I even have a legitimate Quillfish. So this will be interesting. So, I think that's new. Energy Switch, another trainer card. I think at least I think every pack has at least one trainer card in it these days. So, uh, Energy Switch needs an interesting card. Uh there's another Dotler. I already have a reverse hollow of one of these. So, this is old. Which Yep. I was I put these in the wrong spot. Uh Choodle, I already have Choodle, but there you go. Uh, another Rhyhorn, uh, Rookie D, nice little card here, but I already have a Rookie D. Uh, another Krabby, Grookey, haha! I've been waiting to get one of these. I do not have a Grookey yet, so here's Grookey. Nice little card too. I really like this Grookey card. So this is going in my good stuff, and we've got a Reverse Hollow Rookie D. Well, there you go. This is going to be a keeper too. Um, it's kind of interesting because in the uh, the uh, Sun and Moon packs, I actually got two Reverse Hollow Normalium Z trainer cards. So I actually do have two of them, and I've I'd never got another um, Normi Normalium Z card. I've only ever gotten the two, and they were both Reverse Hollow. So Rookie D, and our last card is oh. A holographic Cinderace. So I've got holographic Cinderace and holographic Inteleon. All I'm needing now is holographic. Uh, um, Rillaboom. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So uh, I only need that. So uh, I have the uh, the Cinder or the the Score Bunny line. I now have completed. I just need to um, get uh, Sobble and uh, – <coughs> I don't remember what the middle one was called again. And then I also need uh, Rillaboom and uh, the other thing. I can't remember the, the middle line name because I never trained them. <laughs> Maybe I'll play through uh, Pokemon Sword again. I'll have to buy Pokemon Sword. Okay, so these were all the uh, the duplicates that I don't need. But that was actually a really nice pack. So uh, we had some uh, pretty decent luck so far, and that was just four of the 15 packs. So let's uh, go ahead and grab the next one here. Come on. Oh my god, this one just doesn't want to open. There we go. Alright. So here's another card. With the code. For those of you who want to uh, get this pack online. And of course, you're more than welcome to like pause the stream once it's over and all that stuff. If you want to use that pack. But I think you can only use it once, so it's first come, first serve. And hello, Zorio! Welcome to the stream! Hope you enjoy some of these Pokemon cards. You've had some pretty decent luck so far. So, what energy is this? It is a grass energy. So far, we've gotten one of each energy, which is nice. Alright, so flip him over. We have Corvusquire, which uh, I already have this one. The only one I'm missing is Corviknight. And who knows when I'll see that one. So, Corvusquire is another duplicate. 
Galvantula, another duplicate, which I think I have the, um, I have a, a reverse hollow of this, I think. Linoon, specifically Galarian Linoon, which is nice. I still need Galarian Zigzagoon, but that's actually a really nice looking card. So this one's new. Wait, I'm sorry, I was putting... No, duplicates were going. That's right. Oh, and look at that. Immediately after, we got Galarian Zigzagoon. So now all we need is... Uh, is... Um... Oh my god, why am I spacing on its name? Obstagoon, sorry. So now all we need is Obstagoon. It'd be nice if we got Obstagoon in the same pack. So uh, these two. So when it comes to uh, putting these uh, these Galar like these alternate forms away, I always um, have them on their own separate um, sheet because uh, I put them in order by Pokédex entry, and they still technically have the same Pokédex entry as um, as the original Pokémon. So they'll be on by themselves. Gossip Floor. I do not have this one either. So this one's also new. Nice. Nice, cute little gossip lure. Uh, Silicobra. Another one. This one's actually a different style, as you can see from the uh, first one that we had, which is right here. Pull it back up. So uh, sometimes some of these cards have two different styles to them. So we've got two different Silicobra. So I'll keep those together. I'll put them in there together, and I like to uh, have them... I'll have the one I like more up front. All right, so next we've got Yamper, which is another one I don't have. So this is pretty good. Getting some pretty good luck with this. So Yamper is another new one. Uh, Krabby. Hold on, sorry. Yamper, you go over here. And so do you. <laughs> so Krabby is old. And of course, we always seem to get one in here. And then we end up getting um, a reverse hollow of one of the other cards that was already in here. So now we got a reverse hollow Gossifleur. And last but not least, we've got ourselves a Snorlax. The big boy himself. I don't even know if I have a Snorlax, so this might be an actually really good card for me. So, those goes over here, my hollow goes there, and these can piss off. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next pack. Okay, so starting off the code for those who want it. I didn't say fat. I said the big boy himself. I said big, not fat. You're getting very defensive. <laughs> Hundreds, yes, I'm talking about you. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> so many Pikachu. One, two, three, and... Another steel energy. Cool. So, we've got another Linoon. Another energy switch. Bisharp! We've got ourselves a Bisharp. I think I already have this, but I don't have this particular one. So, generally, whenever I get a uh, card from an, that I already have, but the I'll put the newer generation one in front of it. So, since this is uh, an 8th gen Bisharp, I'll have this in front. So, I'll keep that. And we've got ourselves a Sobble. Nice. Now all we need is the second evolution, and we'll have our set for this little guy. So you go over here. You're yet another old Rhyhorn. Well, you're the a Roselia, but you're a different Roselia. I don't know. I mean, this is a different Roselia. I'm not just... I'm not just uh, imagining... Yeah, it is a different one, so I'll go ahead and put it over here. See which one I like. Ferrisseed... Or Feroz Seed, as they say it's technically pronounced. Um, I don't know if I... I think I have a Feroz Seed. No. I think I have a Feroz Thorn, but I've never had a Feroz Seed. So this one's definitely new for me. Uh, ne Ugh, another Krabby. Clobopus! So I've had a Clobopus before already, but this one's actually a Reverse Hollow. You could tell, especially it's Reverse Hollow, because you could see all the little fighting symbols in there. Which is actually really cool. So, we've got ourselves a Reverse Hollow Clavipus and ending it off with... Oh, look at that! We've got the uh, full art for Morpeko. I didn't actually think Mor Morpeko is actually a rare Pokemon. 
when it comes to the trading card game. So you can actually see this is a uh, a uh, Pokemon V card, as I think they call it. Yeah, Pokemon V. So we've got our um, more Pico card. I will read the description. Calm your tits. <laughs> so the description says... Uh, this doesn't have the the full uh, art one doesn't have like a Pokédex like description on it. Um, it just says when your Pokemon V is knocked out, your opponent takes two prize cards. That's about it. They don't have a description on here. Find it online, please. I'm sure I'll probably get a regular more Pico card at some point, but these are like the special ones. So uh, these are the ones I gotta make sure they stay safe. Uh, I'm going to actually move my holographic stuff over here. So then we're getting rid of these. What was this card? Okay, this is a, the reverse hollow clavopus. And once I'm done opening all of these, I'll actually uh, show you guys what I have so far in my little book. My book of wonders. Okay. Alright, moving on to the next pack here. There's the other code. For anybody who may want this particular... So, uh, whoever uh, remembered what the last pack code was, you'll have that more that um, holographic, more Pico uh, thing on the digital version. So, definitely keep an eye on that. And, another Steel Energy. That's the third one. Okay, so, moving over. Energy Retrieval. This is actually a new one for me. Hey, uh, webcam, you might want to uh, focus here. Ah. Are you going to focus at all? Oh my god, I hate this webcam. Come on, webcam, focus. There, well, it did. It, it kind of does and then stops. Um, so, energy retrieval. This is new. And now we've got Ferrothorn. I'll have to double check, but uh, I don't. I'm pretty sure I don't have this version of Ferrothorn, but I think I do have one. But uh, so we'll we'll definitely keep this one. Read the Italian description for orange. Okay, hold on. I'll set this down. Okay, Italian. Where did you go? There you are. The description read. It has many hidden capabilities, such as fingertips that can shoot water and a membrane on its back that it can use to glide through the air. That's what its description read as. Anyway, so, Ferrothorn, I'll go ahead and keep you. Heatmore, the thing is, I actually already have this card. I already have a Heatmore, so uh, this is a duplicate Heatmore. So I don't need this Heatmore. Rookie D, again... Sizzlepeed, this one's new. Come on, webcam. There you go. So Sizzlepeed. This is actually a really nice looking card. But this is a new one for me. There we go. We've got the little guy himself. We've got Snom. The cutie that is Snom. If this webcam would actually uh, work with me here. It, like, it kind of wants to, but it keeps trying to focus on the back, which is why I keep trying to have my hands in here. So it'll stop trying to focus on the back. There we go. So uh, if Frosty Snom was here, he would actually be excited. You look like poop, Brian. <laughs> but I actually do like Snom. Snom is a, a pain in the butt to train, but uh, Frost Moth was actually really nice. So this is good. I've got my set there. Mawile is next. It's a pretty cool looking Mawile picture. Find a friend and crunch. So that's a new one for me. Got another repeat gossip lure. We've got ourselves a reverse hollow sea king, which is a that's a pretty derpy looking sea king. And uh 
Yeah, I figured it wouldn't be rare. And what's the bottom card? Ooh, we've completed out our um, Yamper side, too. So, Boltund. That face, though, if you can get a closer look at that face. That's such an adorable face. Boltund is actually really cute. I actually thought Boltund was cute. Um, Battle-wise, it's not the greatest, but it is a very cute dog in my opinion but uh, we've completed the set and it's nice because this one's also holographic so that goes over here with the rest of our hollows i'm getting quite a few hollows which is nice i don't often see that i really don't often see that put those over there we still have eight more packs to go and we've had some pretty nice luck all right All right, this is the direction I wanted to open to, so. Boom, another card. So uh, there's your little code. If you wanna use this pack online. One, two, and three. And another steel. That's the fourth steel energy we've gotten so far. All right, flip around. Another um, Galarian Linoon. Uh, another Sea King. Ordinary Rod. Don't have this one, but this one is a, uh, a nice another trainer card. All the trainer cards are actually considered uncommon, which is interesting because they all have the, uh, if you could see it, yeah, the diamond down there. So, that's new. Another Ferocid, another Krabby, another Zigzagoon, another Gossiflor. Now we're starting to run into some bad luck. Can you have a code, please? Yeah, I show a code at the start of everything. Another Silicobra. And we've got a Reverse Hollow Haunter. This is a nice looking Haunter. So, uh, I don't have this Reverse Hollow. So that'll be nice. And ending is a regular Drampa. So not a holographic one, but uh, it's still worse than the one we got before because the one we got before was actually a uh, um, a reverse hollow Drampa. They steal it, though. Well, I show uh, the code at the very beginning, and I don't know if anybody else is actually using them. Nobody has said as such yet. So I'm trying to keep all of these uh, new cards together. Like that, and then keep all the energies together. Man, four steel energies. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, so these are all the extras. Get these out of the way. And moving on to the next pack. So just if you're if you just be ready, you can actually um, get the code yourself. Because I don't use the code, and I don't know if anybody else is. Okay, so this is the back. Okay. All right. So our code is this right here. If it would. Uh, one yet so this is a an interesting little trainer card if it would just focus there we go so we'll get this out of the way uh, another salazzle which uh, I already have we got another Bisharp another Sobble I already have a Maractus but here's the Maractus that you guys can see uh, Mudbray which I already also have but I was just letting you guys take a look real quick. Poniard. I don't have this Poniard, I don't think. Or Poniard, whatever you want to call it. So this may be new for me. So I'll hold on to it onto the side. And we got yet another Score Bunny. But it's different from the one that showed before. And I already had both of these. And see, this is what I'm talking about. We got another Reverse Hollow Pokey Kid. 
So this is the second reverse hollow pokey kit that I have now. And probably the fourth one I've gotten since I started opening these. Well, like I said, you can go back and pause the stream and put in that code. And another Drampa. Great. Another Drampa. Don't need you, Drampa. We've that's the third Drampa we've seen now. <laughs> You're like, can I have it? Like I said, if you send me the money to um, cover the shipping, then yeah, you can. I could get you some of these cards because I'm not paying for the shipping. <laughs> okay, just trying to just this one just didn't want to tear. <laughs> You're poor. Well, I, there's nothing I can help you there. Dragon Grandpa, yep. Alright, so here's the next one. So if you want to use this code... Come on, focus. There you go. So if you want to use the code, it's right here. So again, pause the stream if you want to use this code. And I'm going to go ahead and set this over here. One, two, three... You always say you can't see it. Psychic energy. Well, there you go. That's another one we haven't gotten today. I've got so many energies. <laughs> Alright, so. First trainer card. Or first card is a trainer card. And it's the Rotom bike. Which, uh, this is a new trainer card for me. So that's new. And then we've got Big Charm. Pokemon this card is attached to gets 30 HP. That's actually a pretty interesting card. So there we go. And uh, hold on, I'm putting these in the wrong spot. <laughs> sea King is old. I've already, this, so here's Galarian Meowth, which is pretty interesting. I've already got a Galarian Meowth. So um, now you guys can see what the Galarian Meowth card looks like. I think the, uh, the stream, hold on. I think the stream kind of hiccuped there for a second. Oh my god. Come on. I'm trying to load up it's it's having a really hard time loading up the performance metrics. And I don't understand why. There it goes. Okay, so it looked like it did have an issue 25 minutes ago and then this other issue was 4 minutes ago. Well, that could just be because people are watching stuff. Anyway, moving back. So this is a, a Galarian Meowth, which I already have. Don't need. So there's the other score bunny that we've already seen. Just get turned. There. Don't need that. So here's Sinisty. I've already got Sinisty. I just need Pull T Geist. So this is another old one. And yet another Maractus. There's Pikachu, the, the Pikachu that's in every single pack. Which I already have plenty of. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. I don't have Grapple Locked yet. And this is a Reverse Hollow Grapple Locked. So that's a really nice card. I think the next time I play through um, either Sword or Shield, I'll probably actually use Grapple Locked. That seems like a really nice Pokemon to try. A lot of people really like Grapple Locked. Turn off the electric or pull the Wi-Fi cable. So they can't watch. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know if they're watching Netflix. But uh, um, the last time I checked, they were just in his room. And he was playing Final Fantasy XIV. So that's a nice card. Lantern. I didn't know Lantern was considered rare. I guess it is. It's got the star down there. So uh, I don't have this particular Lantern. So it goes well with the, uh, the Chin Chow. So there we go. Here goes all these. All right. Five packs left to go. All 
I already saw the front card. I'm already disappointed in it. Because <laughs> I've seen so many of them already. Okay, so next, uh, here's this code. If it would focus. Come on, webcam. It is not that hard. It is struggling. The struggle is real for this in this card. There we go. Sometimes it helps doing that. So there we go. All right. Now what do we have? Whoops. Let me actually do the one, two, three first and get rid of the another steel energy. Okay. So pseudo widow. Here's your pseudo widow card. It is yet another duplicate that I already have. Here's the hop trainer card, which uh, I already have this one too. And another dotler, which we don't need. See, that's why I was disappointed. It was crabby. Another Galarian Zigzagoon. Another Gossiflor. Baltoy. I don't know if I have this Baltoy, so I'll hold on to it. Shelter. I don't know. I think I already have this Shelter, so. Uh, and are we got a Reverse Hollow Yamper to go with the Holographic Boltund. So that's nice. Reverse Hollow Yamper. And clay doll to go along with the ball toy, but it's just a regular clay doll. Still a really interesting looking card. I'm trying to understand the art back there. There's like two people in the background with an umbrella. <laughs> so we do not have this, and it knows explosion. And it says it does 120 damage to itself. So you know what's interesting about that? Is that uh, I'm holding all the cards here, but uh, if you use that item to increase its HP by 30 to 150, <laughs> and then you use Explosion to do 120 damage to itself, it would technically still be alive with 30 HP if you increased it like that. So that's actually pretty interesting. So moving on to the next pack, get these out of the way. What do you mean, no? You're it's just, it's just, no, you're following what the card says. It only says, it doesn't say it wipes out all of its HP. It specifically states 120 HP. So if you, in, if you increase its HP by, uh, by, uh, th um, 30, what that item says, that does technically count. That would not KO the Pokemon. It's called exploitation. <laughs> of course it wouldn't make sense in terms of the game, but yeah. Alright, so here we go with the next code. <sighs> Come on. Oh, I didn't do it this time? No. It's being a butt. There we go. There's the code. Yes, it can. I guarantee you that is legal in the Pokemon card game. And hey, we got our first grass energy. Wait, did these get... Somehow they came upside down. Anyway, so... Pokemon Center Lady, instead of actually calling a Pokemon like Nurse Joy or whatever. But uh, I already have this card, so this, is, uh, this isn't this is new. Seeking again. Hitmonchan! There we go. There we go. And it's funny because it shows Hitmonlee in the background there, which is pretty cool. So uh, I can't believe... I've already... I Well, prior to this, I never had a Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan card. Um, well, since I started uh, creating my own cards again. So this is the first Hitmonchan I've gotten. So this is actually nice. So we've got Sizzlepeed, which is old. Zigzagoon, we already have. Muna. 
that's a it's like uh, Muna's Wooly World. <laughs> I don't have this version of Muna, so I will hold on to it. We got ourselves another Snom, another Grookey, another Reverse Hollow Yamper. Are you kidding me? Reverse Hollow Yamper. Hmm. And another Holographic Cinderace. What are the odds? Another holographic cinder race. Speaking of cinder race, the thing says it's skilled at both offense and defense. It gets pumped up when cheered on, but if its stats, sh but if it starts showboating, it could put itself in a tough spot. I am not going to pay to send you cards. I'm sorry. If you want the cards, you're sent. You're paying me for the cards. <laughs> I mean, I spent $65 for all, like, 15 of these packs. So. <laughs> Alright, so now. Next code right here. 20 bucks for my duplicates. <laughs> well, it depends if somebody else is willing to pay more. Because, uh, well, for the ones that they don't have, especially the holographic ones. Deal or no seal. Uh, another fighting energy. And what do we got? Another evolution incense, which we already have this. I already have this. Vitality band. I don't have this one. It's really not going to focus. Come on, you stupid webcam. <laughs> My god. It's it's really struggling hard. There we go. Jeez. Vitality Band. Not a interesting looking card. So it is new. So I'll put this over here. We got ourselves another Haunter, but we already have the Reverse Hollow, so we don't need this one. Diglett. We do not have this version of Diglett, so I'll have to keep this one. I already got the Doug Trio at one point, too. Bear Seed. Did I already keep a Goldeen? I think so. So, uh, you can go over here. Another Roselia. Another Joltik. And we got ourselves a Reverse Hollow Musharna, which is another rare card. So, that's actually a really nice card. I don't think I even have Musharna yet. So, there we go. And our rare is... Are you kidding me? These, re these holographic Cinder Races are probably worth nothing. I can't believe I've gotten three. This is really weird. Can't believe I've gotten three. And we've only got two decks left. Uh, more of those. Moving on to here. Dun, da, 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 da. Goldenrod City. Please, for your birthday. <laughs> How old are you again, Brian? Must be like $2. <laughs> Alright, so here's our next code. There we go. Oh, you're 16. That explains why you don't have any money. <laughs> One, two, three, and another electric energy. Nice. All right, moving around. Another Lumberry, which, uh... Come on. I 
I really don't understand why this thing is struggling so hard to pull up the freaking thing. There we go. Lumberry. Old. Aurora Energy. I've never heard of this card before. Huh, so Aurora Energy says you can attach this card to one of your Pokemon only if you discard another card from your hand. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides every type of energy, but provides only one energy at a time. So you can... that's actually pretty interesting. Hey there, Miner1226, welcome to the uh, stream, and same with Anime TV. Welcome. And welcome, KC Latios. Thank you for the raid. Hope you had a great, uh, um, great stream on your end. I'm assuming you're acquaint an acquaintance of uh, Orange. And hey there, Sad Cat. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for the raid. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a Dub Wool. So that means uh, my collection, my Wooloo collection, is complete. So that's actually really nice. Goes over here. Uh, Hoot Hoot, I already have this version of Hoot Hoot, so I don't care. Uh, another Score Bunny. Another Pikachu. Another Sinistee. And another Wooloo. But for, here's the Wooloo for those who haven't seen the Wooloo yet. Trust me, if you're able to get packs, you'll get Score Bunny really easily. <laughs> and we've got a Reverse Hollow Mancino. So here's another new one that we don't have. It's pretty cool. And last but not least, a holographic Toxicroak. That's actually really cool. Which is nice because uh, prior to uh, these Gen 8 cards, I never had a Toxicroak or a uh, Krogunk yet. So this is really nice. Had to end because you were too tired? Yeah, I definitely know the feeling. But yeah, so holographic Toxicroak. That looks really nice. All right, we are down to the last and final pack. Can't believe we've opened up 14 of these packs already. All right, there we go. And of course, as usual, there is the code if you want to uh, use this uh, pack online. Toxicoke does look pretty great, yeah. Toxicoke Croak's actually a pretty decent Pokemon, too. And one, two, three. And another Lightning Energy. So, what do we have here? Another Poke Kid. I've gotten so many of these cards already. This should be more of a circle and not a diamond. <laughs> Another Energy Search, another Team Yell Grunt, another Ferocid, another Goldeen, another Roselia, another Joltik, another Silicobra, another Reverse Hollow Mincino. <laughs> and last but not least, yay! We've actually got Poltegeist. So that's whoop. So that's actually really nice. Got ourselves Poltegeist. But look at that HP. It's a rare, see that star down there? And it only has 60 HP. That's pretty low. The teacup looks lame. <laughs> well, I mean, I only remember him raiding me like two or three times. But I mean, I guess that is kind of a lot. But it was like within the last like couple of weeks or so. But... So, I'm going to go ahead and show all the uh, the holographic ones again. Whoop. To show uh, all of the reverse hollows and all the holographic cards again that we've gotten. Um, just so that everybody knows who just came in what we have. So, there's the uh, holographic Mancino. The holographic Toxicroak. There's the other uh, reverse hollow Mancino. So, the funny thing is, is about these uh, holographic Cinderace, I actually just got three of these. Three holographic Cinderaces. 
And of course, now it's it's wanting to be stupid. Okay, there we go. So this is like the third one I've gotten. <laughs> and there's the uh, Reverse Hollow Muna. Oh, so I did realize that uh, we have two different, completely different... I didn't realize they were completely different. But we actually have two completely different holographic Cinderaces. I don't know how I didn't make that, uh, that uh, connection. Two completely different holographic cinder races. Sorry, I didn't mean... To, I meant to say Musharna, not Muna. But yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> the luck to actually get two different ones. <laughs> and of course, there's our reverse hollow Yamper. Which is really nice. And I actually noticed too... We actually have two completely different reverse hollow yampers. What is going on today? Two different holographic cinderaces and two different reverse hollow yampers. <laughs> Man. And then following that up, we got the reverse hollow grapple locked. Which uh, grapple locked looks pretty cool. And uh, one of two reverse hollow pokey kid cards. <laughs> and then we've got the uh, reverse hollow haunter and then we've got the holographic boltund which is really nice um we've got the reverse hollow sea king so i just realized too that we've got reverse hollow clobopus and reverse hollow grapple oct which is pretty cool so this was the actual full art card of Morpico. So these are called Pokemon V cards. So that's a uh, it's actually pretty interesting. I love these full art cards because they're always holographic too. And then we got Reverse Hollow Gossiflor, uh, Reverse Hollow Rookie D, and there's the other um, holographic Cinderace of that first one. And here's the other reverse holo pokey kid. And then here's the holographic Inteleon, which is actually also really cool. Watch, there's a different Inteleon card that can be holographic. And then the reverse holo Drampa. And last but not least was the uh, reverse holo Potion. So those are all the cards that we got that had some kind of holograph to them. So it was pretty it's a overall it was a pretty nice set i mean that's how thick these are but you know at least uh 15 of these are um reverse hollow cards but still that's a pretty nice bounty i guess you can say and then this this is how thick all the new cards are the cards that are brand new that i haven't had before that were not duplicates and of course, when you look at this, there's going to be 15 energy cards there. And then last but not least, the duplicates. This is how thick the duplicates are. Look how thick this is. This is like um, the size of almost uh, like maybe even a little more than um, like a standard deck of cards. This is probably a little bit more than two decks of standard ca playing cards. But that's a lot of, uh, um, a lot, yeah. Instantly your favorite card here. I know, right? More Pico is uh, adorable. Completely forgot I even had something to drink. <laughs> so, those are all the cards. So now, what I'm going to try and do... Let's find out a way to uh, get my uh, my book here that has all my Pokemon stuff in it. So I'm going to have to clear some space off um, just so I can do that. So these are... So these I don't care about because these are all duplicates or energies. They can go die in a river for all I care. 
So uh, as you guys might be able to tell, there's a bit of a cluster, a clutter on my desk. It's mostly because of some of it are like napkins, and one of the things is like a back scratcher, which I do use. <laughs> and I end up stockpiling on napkins anytime I go out to eat, just because. <laughs> it's nice having napkins, so I'm not using all of the uh, usual stuff. So all these are games medication I'll put behind the TV well not really medication it's more like stuff for headaches and whatnot okay move my mouse out of the way put my drink over here and let me go get the book because that way I could show you what cards I did get already that I got last time Let me move that out of the way for a second. Oh, and of course, I gotta show this big guy. That huge Porygon Z card. And of course, it's gonna be, it's a full art Porygon Z card. I got it out of like a box set, so and I just kind of leave it in here. Anyway, so. So it's a very, very incomplete. Hey there, Fruit Boom, welcome to the stream. You have 15 shiny Gigantamax Pokemon, or Gigamax, Gigantamax, whatever you wanna call them. Nice, I only have Lapras so far. <laughs> like, I literally just started with these too. Anyway, so, trying to figure out the best way to actually show without these cards being in the way. Move those duplicates out of the way. Let me see if this will uh, spin it around town. There we go. And then... Uh, that's probably not going to work all that well. There's no, uh, there's no easy way of doing this unless I put it on a higher elevation, like maybe up here. I, uh, I kind of want to, and I kind of don't, but, uh, well, you're not going to really get a good, very good angle unless I tilt it. But I'm trying to make it to where you guys can kind of see the cards, but it's, but I might have to turn this light off up here, but then you might not be able to see them at all. Well, I mean, you could probably still see them just fine, I guess. But these are just like, like when it came to Gen 1, when I started over, all I really have is the Squirtle, War Turtle, and Blastoise. <laughs> dun 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 dun. I'm just trying to like keep pushing things around. There we go. Uh, this will be the best I can get it for now. Um, but hopefully there won't be too much of an issue. All right. Well, saying thank you again for the uh, the raid, Casey. Um, you have a great night, and thank you. I greatly appreciate it. You've already been subbed for a week. You know the name did sound familiar. <laughs> So, uh, so I could flip it like this and you could see these ones like Caterpie, Weedle, and then a Kakuna, Metapod, Beef, Pidgey. But, uh, yeah, and then I have to do this. But these aren't really the cards that I'm like looking to, uh, um, share really. So, okay, so up here. I'll have to move the right here. I'll get it right above it. There we go. 
That was the holographic frost moth that I got. So I have my Snom and Frost Moth set. And then I also have a Reverse Hollow Stun Jorner too. Which is actually pretty cool. And then when it comes to all the other stuff. I have to like go past all these uh, extra pages. Yeah, when it came to the Alolan stuff. All I have was uh, Rattata Eradicate. Um... I put them in order of Pokédex entry, too. And then I've got Alolan Vulpix, Alolan Diglett, <laughs> Alolan Geodude, Alolan Graveler, Alolan Grimer, Alolan Marowak, and then, of course, the uh, Ponyta, Stunfisk, Meowth. <laughs> and then out of all my other, like, f other full art cards... That I have like I have special, which are usually the tag team or whatnot. I have the uh, tag team of Buzzwall and uh, Fair. What was her name? Fermosa. I have the tag team of Blastoise and um, Piplup. And then there's the uh, Gigantamax Lapras that I have. And then that was the uh, Tapu Koko V card. So the more Pico one, I'm probably going to end up adding here too. Either that, or I'll just put it where um, all the other, like where its actual Pokédex entry would be. And I might end up doing the same thing for Tapu Koko as well. Because uh, this, since this is a Gigantamax Lapras, I'm not going to put it where Lapras is. But yeah, so... But yeah, those those are the things. Oh, and of course, let me show you the uh, trainer ones. I actually do have a full art Pokemaniac one. I have a uh, Reverse Hollow Coach Trainer and a Reverse Hollow Plumeria. And now I'll have to put the Reverse Hollow Poke Kit here. <laughs> um, and then right here. I actually have a holographic reds challenge, which is actually pretty interesting. Like it's actually holographic because the it's actually a rare trainer card, which is pretty nice. And these were the uh, Normalium Z's I was referring to that were reverse hollow, and that's the only ones I've ever gotten. Okay, see, I did already have an energy search, and it was also a reverse hollow, so those were not new. Moving on, and then of course I have uh, the full art for the Beast Bringer, and a full art for the re Reset Stamp, which is uh, pretty interesting. And I also have a, uh, I believe that's a Reverse Hollow Slowbro Spirit Link, but it's like the old style of trainer card too. But I believe when it comes to like the Reverse Hollow trainer cards, that's pretty much all I have. Or, like, anything of the sort. Because I was, like, trying to organize these, too. But, yeah. So, that's that's my stuff right now. So, uh, after I end this, I'm going to go through all that uh, work of uh, putting all these Pokemon in here. <laughs> but, anyway. So... I'm going to set this down on top of here so you guys can look straight at the cards. But anyway. But yeah, that was uh, all the cards and stuff that I got. So I'll more than likely, anytime I buy like Pokemon cards like this, I'll probably end up doing a stream where um, I'm just going to showcase all the Pokemon cards that I just got and s see what new ones we have and what old ones we have. And hopefully we can uh, finish more sets the next time I buy some cards in bulk. But anyway, I definitely appreciate everybody who came by and was uh, interested in watching this. So, um, yeah, it was actually, uh, actually did a lot better. I wonder if uh, those 70 people watching at once was actually true or if that was a glitch. I'm pretty sure it was a glitch, but still, who knows. But anyway, thanks again, everybody. And I hope to see you guys all in tomorrow's um, Kingdom Hearts stream. Everybody take care till then.